You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Humor in the Bible, the Book of Amos. Amos 4, verse 1. In modern Anglophone situations, calling a woman you cow is probably neither smart, nor clever, nor funny. It's just rude. But what was going on when Amos said to the women of Samaria, Hear this word, you cows of Bashan, you who are on Mount Samaria, who oppress the poor, who crush the needy, who say to their husbands, Bring something to drink. It's been debated. Exactly what's going on. Some scholars have tried to make a cultural reference out of it, claiming that the devotees of Baal called themselves his cows, at least if they were feminine. Perhaps not. There's almost certainly strong agricultural background to it. In his commentary, Mays puts it like this. Amos calls the wives of the rich Bashan cows. The epithet was not in itself an insult. Bashan in Transjordan was noted for its rich forests and pastures, and particularly for fine cattle. Deuteronomy 32.14, Psalm 22.12, Ezekiel 39.18. Bashan was a hallmark of quality. And so indeed it was. But it's perhaps not just the agricultural background that's important here. Maybe there is also an element of play with the title. As King in his uh, archaeological commentary writes, also cows may be an honorific title interpreted ironically by Amos. In his study animal names as designations in Ugaritic and Hebrew, Patrick Miller concludes that animal names may be used metaphorically as titles of leaders and nobles. In Amos 4.1, the feminine plural form paroi, cows, refers to the wives of the leaders. So it may be that the honorific title cow is being used ironically by Amos. And this is all interesting, but you can't help wondering, where's the joke? Well, you can't help wondering where's the joke if you've had the experience of reading this passage to a bunch of students and them all laughing, which was the regular response I got in Mobutu Zaire from my students. You see, they were quite used to seeing the rich women of the elite get out from their Mercedes in town and for the chauffeur to rush around doing their bidding. And these sleek and well-fed women, who were usually not at all small, did indeed fit the description cows of Bashan. And in that context, what follows in verse 2 perhaps didn't seem quite as bad as it seems in a comfortable Western context. So, did Amos mean for one to be funny? Well, let's look at those criteria for the presence of humour. Incongruity, bags of it first in the description cows of Bashan and then in the possible overtones of it and then in their saying to their lords bring us a drink light-hearted mood well perhaps perhaps not surprise certainly ingenuity think of the puns there's ingenuity here and think of all the possible echoes of that phrase cows of Bashan all of which work hyperbole oh yes these women ordering their lords bring us a drink inferiority well certainly among my students as they heard it there was a sense of their inferiority to these women in the social order of the day disguise or pretending to be something else well maybe in the name causation but I'm not so sure we'll leave in elasticity this time but I will claim that there's human pretension revealed in all its lack of glory in the pretensions of these sleek women of the elite humour with a bite. But this time at least, even in the prophets, humour that raises a laugh or a smile. Bye for now. God bless.